Hello everyone. Let's take a look at Lico 158, read n characters given grid for two, called multiple times. So it's a follow up of Lico 157. In 157, it only called one time, like once. But in this problem, it can be called multiple times. So if you haven't practiced Lico 157, you should practice at first since it, uh, these two problems are very similar. And we can reuse most of the code or most of the structure from 157. Okay, so I will skip uh, most of the description here. Let's just take a look at the example. So in example one, there's three characters in file. First, we read one, then we know we read eight, so we return one since we can read one character. Then we read two, we know we read PC, so returns two. At last, we try to read another one, but we have already read all the contents from this file, so we cannot read any more, return zero. Okay, in the second example, there's also three characters in file ABC. So first, we try to read four, but there are only three, so we can only read three, so we return three. Then we try to read more, since we already read all contents, so we cannot read any more. We return zero here. Okay. So let's take a look at the implementation. Since it can be called multiple times, so we need to have a state variable in our class. So I place cache, place cache index and cache count as a class private variable. Okay, next in read function, I have a local variable called index. Index is point to like where, uh, where the ne next character should be placed in this buffer. So finally, we just return this index to tell, to uh, just return the value, like how many characters we have already read. Okay, so it's a while loop here. For this block, it just um, consume the characters from cache as much as possible. So when we first call this function, the cache is empty, cache count is zero. So it's a no op. Next, if, if index is n, which means uh, we have finished our task since we want to read n characters. So we can just return index. Then we try to fill our ca cache. So we reset cache index to zero and uh, calling read four to fill my cache. So cache count will be four and I read the first four characters from file to, to my cache which is A, B, C, D. Okay, if cache is zero, which means um, we have already read all the contents from the file, then we just break since we says no content remain in this file. Okay, so in, in the first while loop, we just prepare our cache. In the next while loop, we try to consume the contents in the cache. So we copy A to our buffer, then update our state, copy B to our buffer, update our state, copy C to our buffer, then we update our states. Now index is three, which is not similar than n. You know, index is n, so we can just return index, which is three in this case. Okay, so the uh, first call, read buffer three, finish. Next, we try call it again, read buffer three. We try to read def in this case. Okay. Index is zero. Since cache, uh, cache count is one, so we will go to this while loop. We copy D to our buffer and we update state. Now cache count is zero, so we will break this while loop. And uh, we will re uh, refer our cache again. So we call read four, but the only three characters remain. So cache count is three and we copy EF to, to cache. And we know previously there's a D in this memory, but the readful function may not touch this memory. So the content may still D, but it does not matter. matter. We don't care it since we know cache count is three. So we will not use this memory. Okay, next I copy E, update our state, and copy F, update our state. Now index is three. So I can just return index which is three. Okay, that's the solution. So the main idea here is to have uh, some state variable in my class. 
the cash, cash index, and cash count. Okay, that's it. See you next time.